a couple of years back i did release one of my early on first lightroom presets and i labeled that tjd color play i think it was a pack of 19 presets and i was just playing around with colors and i think this was one of the images i reviewed with that and this particular one also i shot edited a video created a video on it people loved it and i thought oh hey why not make some cash out of it and i created those particular presets emphasis on the word color play because we really did play around with colors fast forward we are in 2024 and i have created a new set of presets which obviously plays a lot with color so if you're one who is looking out for outfit color retention skin color retention and all that i mean we'll be able to maintain some skin colors try as much as possible to maintain some of the outfit colors but again color play it's really going to play with your color so i would advise anybody buying this to be very careful using this for clients work but if it's for portfolio reasons you can enjoy using this particular preset again presets are supposed to serve as a base and they are not a one-click solution i might click once and it will work but doesn't mean it's a one-click solution i have gathered images from back in the day and also some from people i asked i think this is from oab this is an image during lockdown from oyele k some from opemu emmanuel or new photography yeah and the rest are from images i shot when i used to shoot outdoors these pack of presets right because i have variety of images i want to run through them some are Nikon images, some are Fuji files, some are Canon files. I want to run through them and show you the different conditions they might work. But personally, these presets, if you really want to enjoy them, use them on outdoor sunlit images. A few of them work with overcast, and we'll see that as the video progresses. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kojo Joey, and let's enjoy unveiling color play 2.0 so i'm going to label this color play 2.0 on my website just to, to avoid the confusion between tjd color play and this particular color play i was going to get i was just going to name this color play without tjd or whatever but i realized it's going to cause some confusion so color play 2.0 after you buy your zip you import by using import presets you're going to i think you're going to see six presets labeled here autumn reds brown and aqua cream tone four yellows summer greens and washed out washed out one of my favorites black and whites i've created so far look out for that these six presets all have six profiles attached to them if i'm not mistaken so we'll look out for that very soon right an RAF file, as you can see, this is a Fuji file. Let me turn it off. Fuji file from OAB. Back in the day, I asked him for it to review particular some presets or create a video. I don't remember. So autumn reds. Just take a look at how it works. I'm going to hover on these presets just so that you see how it works. Autumn reds. You have brown and aqua. You have cream tone. Cream tone is crazy. Like it's actually crazy. You have four yellows one of my favorites too we have summer greens the contrast between the blues and the whites and that warmth and the shadow but you don't really see the warmth and the greens I labeled summer greens just because of the color play on the greens and this is washed out so I'll stick to summer greens I'm going to open my basic you can see the profile over here tjd juno so i don't really mind showing you the settings over here because if you don't have this i don't think you're going to get this look so let's re let's reduce the highlights here and if you feel the blues are too much which of course i have some people who will come back and say oh how can i eliminate the blues in the white and all that come to color grading come to highlights it's already even selected within the warmth region then add a little bit of saturation to it 
there you eliminate that too much blues in there i'm not totally eliminating it i'm just adding some yellows into the highlights to have this very good look so this is where we started from this before this is after i like how it tones the skin it tones my white especially the greens i love it all right on to the next image an image from Moyeleke back during covid when he shared some images for during the lockdown for people to try their hands on it's a studio lit image i just i, I threw this in there just so we can see how all these will work on them so this is autumn red this is brown and aqua so let the blacks are opened i mean again they are playing with the colors cream tone uh, not a favorite for this one four yellows if if you vibe with it you keep it summer greens this i will stick with so i'll come back here i'll open my exposure reduce the highlights and open my shadows opening the shadows and this is beautiful before and after very beautiful let's come to this this is an image i remember shooting with opemo during the lockdown on campus i think i was still on campus by then so i'll, I'll go to cream tone and i'll reduce this tjd moon all right and i'll reduce the amount of shadows and there's also let's reduce the temperature a little bit bring down the highlights not too much okay before and after if you vibe with it stick with it okay let's jump to this particular image so autumn reds brown and aqua cream tone four yellow summer green and washed out so i did say really won't work for all images you'd have to make some adjustments so summer greens and what i'll do is to reduce my temperature right and reduce my highlights open my shadows a little bit maybe reduce the juno too all right keep reducing this and bring back some haze into this Let's rotate this a little bit. Yeah, and I have this very beautiful. If you guys remember this particular image, it led to me creating the first TJD color play. So we brought it back to test the new color plays on them. And if it works on them, I don't know for you, because this is what sells everything. So there's summer greens. Take a look at how the greens are affected, which is Again, the reason why I need I, I live with the summer greens. The four yellows, if you're going for a fall look, every everything looks warm. Highlights, shadows, everything looks warm. That's what the four yellows are for. Cream tone if you want some blues in the blacks and the shadows. And some old and, and a creamy look in the whites and the highlights. There's also a vibe. Brown and aqua makes everything brown, desaturates the greens. If there's a look you're going for cool autumn reds autumn reds work very well for some images I'll, I'll show you that very soon but not so well for this particular image so let's take with summer greens or let's do brown and aqua i think i'll stick with brown and aqua reduce this yeah enough color play let's move to the next image the next image this is where I say the autumn reds work well. If you're looking for an image where it has more reds in the blacks and the shadows and the highlights, and it tones down any other color except the skin tone, autumn reds would work for you. Just take a look at that. It gives a different feel to this. It even adds color to the blacks, as you can see. But I'm going to stick with brown and aqua for this because the blues are already calling me to show you how you can change it from this to that so yeah brown and aqua you're good to go one of the very first images that led to creating presets so i'll stick with say brown and aqua cream tone four yellows summer green 
and what I do to dark skin colors or dark skin tone reduce the amount of luminosity in the oranges to bring back and I like I like the feel it gives this image very beautiful jump on to the next we can do brown and aqua for this or cream tone if you're up for a challenge to fix it I want to keep this tutorial short so I'm not going to use cream tone for this you can go for yellows it's already yellow already full of yellows you can go for yellows or summer green summer green then you pop up the exposure maybe reduce the oranges a little bit then use the saturation of the reds also yeah keep it there reduce this too and we have something like this come back here reduce the temperature if you're really gunning for a dark melanin skin always have some blues in your image and that's where this temperature thing comes in so yeah this is before and after beautiful we have more images to cover let's go watch out for this for sure when i was trying the presets out i think this was one of those, one of the images i used to create the presets and watched out was looking very good on this i like how soft it is right very good okay jump on to the next four yellows cream tone brown and aqua brown and aqua simple what then i would do is to come to the color mixer go to hue and send this towards a little bit more towards the blues and maybe let me see no come here into color grading into the global color grade and i'm going to add some hints of cyan just to reduce the reds and the overall image and there we have it before and after brown and aqua as the name suggests come to this and we just go with summer greens quick easy fast there's nothing to do about this if your highlights are blowing out yeah you can come reduce your highlights beautiful you're good to go all right jump on to the next i did mention the autumn red works on some of my images so if you have a similar image like this with these sort of colors in there and you want the autumn reds i i sort of love this look because it reminds me of one of my favorite photographers coloring back in the day when he used to shoot outdoor images and then the blacks and the yellows sorry the blacks and the shadows would sort of pick up this color and i would always fantasize about how i was going to create it and yeah here yeah, i am creating it okay so this particular image let's transform it so that sits well here right because it has reds boom that's all i'll open my shadows a bit more and that's it so you can see before and after i mean let's turn off let's turn off this so before and after right okay there are more images to go go to this summer greens this was the image i used in creating the summer greens so guys summer greens no other summer greens that's it but yeah there's cream tone there's four yellows if this is the look you want for maybe an outdoor image that you shot with the skies and everything you want it warm the four yellows works really well let's see autumn red beautiful just beautiful there, there are no words if i should use this all i'll do is open the shadows and i'm good to go right so but let's just leave it at summer greens it looks very good already in summer greens easy okay next image summer greens works because there are a lot of greens in there and summer greens Oh, I seen someone things like that. There is four yellows too. Cream tone, beautiful. Brown and aqua, and autumn reds. I think I'm going to stick with autumn reds for this, just because of how it makes the greens look like. Again, because the tones look exactly like one of my favorite photographers growing up. Was it growing up like? Uh, how long in a photography game? Yeah, whatever. 
Okay, let's do summer greens for this or four yellows. Okay, summer greens reduce the exposure and it fixes it up. Open the shadows a little bit. Maybe reduce the highlight. And this is a look, a solid look. I remember shooting this on Shy Hills. Okay, let's jump to this brown and aqua. It's calling. I mean, you can see the oranges and the reds. Uh, brown and aqua works, or autumn red works. Or, stay with me, guys. Cream tone. Very nice. Jump onto this particular image. Summer greens. Open the. Let's transform this auto just so the horizon is fixed. Maybe open our shadows a little bit. More light or more exposure. This is the before and this is the after. If you're looking at stylizing, I mean, these sets of presets again, traditionally, I wouldn't encourage you to use them on client work. But if you're open to stylizing a client work and you want to play around with colors and the clients won't be bothered, yeah, this is for you. Oh, I do have some images. I remember this. I didn't post a lot of this. So let's see autumn reds brown and aqua cream tone cream tone guys cream tone four yellows right if i choose four yellows all i have to do is just reduce the exposure and i like that flat warm tone it gives every color in this particular image summer greens washed out washed out sort of blends a subject into the background so there's no separation but the summer greens you are aware of the background aware of the subject i mean i'm torn between cream tone and summer greens let's stick to summer greens you know what i'll do next come to my blues make it pop it up a little bit more yeah yeah i love it or cream tone Cream tone, guys. Cream tone. So I'm going to reduce the amount of the profile, or better so, leave it there. Reduce the temperature a tad bit. Yeah. Reduce the highlights also. And guys, we have this looking like this now. Good. You remember this image from TJDS? Four yellow works, autumn red also works. It's a one-click solution for this, and I love it. This was what I used to create the four yellow, so it's supposed to work, and that's it. The only thing I would do next is to add some color to my oranges to pop the skin out, All right? So before and after, the image has to be bright for the four yellows for you to enjoy. The four yellows, the image has to be bright, to all exposed, to be very honest. And yeah, that's what you're getting over here. This brown and aqua, because I have blues and I'm going to use brown and aqua. Or I can use autumn reds if that's what I'm looking for. Or cream tone will also work. Or four yellows, or summer green, or no, no washed out. So summer green. Washed out works best when there's a lot of light and contrast. So I'm going to use. Mm, brown and aqua all right this was just an experiment and four yellows no sorry cream tone did a very good job i'm not going to adjust it i just want to show you how it looks at its base cream tone for this and no adjustment made okay one adjustment to reduce the highlights you can do the same cream tone for this or autumn reds or brown and aqua or four yellows so i'll do four yellows make one tiny in a bit adjustment put a radial filter here invert it and reduce the exposure not too much okay not the exposure let's do curves over here yeah so the attention is on our dear model you can see how the red is sort of eliminated that's what i meant by using this on clients work let's see summer greens so here in summer greens i see a lot of reds what i'll do is come into the color grid and go to the global color grid opposite of red is cyan i'll push it here and 
and a hint of cyan in the global region so blue is cyan instead all right now come here and i'll reduce the temperature and take a look at this take a look at the separation that's happening very beautiful i raise you this particular image cream tone one click solution you're done or four yellows one click solution we are done let's reset this open the shadows a little bit reduce the highlights coming to color mixer maybe bring back some oranges and some reds go to the hue make sure the oranges look yellow sorry reddish or better so leave it here come to calibration and move the hue of the greens and you have yourself reddish looking skin tones all right you're approaching a 30th mark on the time so washed out summer greens i'll pick summer greens for this i'm going to open my shadows reduce my highlights and instead of going to color mixer i'll come here and use this to reduce the amount of color on the skin so yeah it is a look you want summer greens for you again summer greens four yellows cream tone brown and aqua autumn red washed out summer greens open up the exposure remember how we fixed the bluish white so i like the colors of the greens I don't like what is happening in the white what i'll do is come to my color grading go to my highlights it's already in the warmth region let's send it to the yellowish side and warm it up and there we have it looking very good if you're like me and you really 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 want to fix the outfit so hold on if you're using lightroom which of course the pieces are for Lightroom and you're not using a Captain Jack Sparrow version I don't know this also works for the cracked version the masking capabilities I have clothes then this I'm just showing you my tricks when I'm working in Lightroom now I can play with the outfits bring back the outfits color so maybe so I have the before I have the after next thing i do make sure use fine adjustment is checked on then warm it up or maybe use this to also warm it up and i have close to the color you're seeing over here but mind you all the other adjustments have been made and that's how great lightroom is at this particular moment so let me reduce the amount of this because i don't want the blues to be eliminated so yeah before after beautiful this image i'm going to use cream tone oh i saw something oh summer greens summer greens baby you know let me see something i didn't check this enable pro so you see what the summer greens is doing to the outfit crazy right let's go to cream tone i'm going to leave it here so before and after this is a fuji file from new shots another fuji file from new shots check out more of these images on his instagram new shots summer greens four yellows reduce yeah and beautiful so this has been tjd color play 2.0 or color play 2.0 for short i hope you guys enjoy playing with them on your images i'm going to well i created them so i've already enjoyed using them it's left with you guys to buy support and enjoy using them yourself thank you so much for supporting the business you guys did marvelously well by supporting the dot 2 h preset i released earlier this week i'm adding this and i'm down for the year for lightroom maybe Capture One users really want me to put something out and maybe I'll try and cook something up for you guys also. Thank you so much for the support, the massive support. Always share this video to others you think might be interested in. Playing around with colors, 
link in the description box below to purchase this first 10 people should i do first 10 okay first 10 people at discounts i'm not going to label the discounts in this video i'll let i'll let you guys know on the website first 30 first 10 people sorry first 10 people get a discount after the 10 it reverts back to the original price thank you so much please like subscribe and share leave down in the comment section below if you have any concerns or you want to add up to something i didn't say in here in today's video and i'll see you in the next one Peace.